Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Today I am going to be doing a what I got my husband for Christmas as well as what I got him for his stocking stuffers and I felt like I should just combine this video just so that there would be enough content because I just feel like, I don't know, them by themselves was just not going to be good enough for one video or like two separate videos so I put them in one and I wanted to do what I got my kids for Christmas first but some of their stuff isn't coming yet and so I thought I would get this one out first and then I would do what I got my kids for Christmas if I would have waited for both um it would be like the week before Christmas I'd be getting this up. So I really wanted to get this one out there. Hopefully I can get um, what I got my kids for Christmas out in like a couple more days and it will be good to go. So a couple of things did not come yet, but I figured I will just show a picture on the screen when I'm talking about what it is so you can see what it is and I can still get this video out there. So, and if I keep looking over this way is because I'm making sure my kids are not coming in my room because I don't want them to see this stuff um, because they have been known to tell people what their presents are. So, um, <laughs> let's get started. I'm going to show you what I got him for his stocking stuffers first. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is socks. So. I said with my kids, I like to get them Christmas socks every year, um, and it's just fun. And I got these also from Big Lots, the same as my kids, and these are just fun. And he likes cool socks, so I thought this would be perfect. And even though these are kind of fun, maybe a little goofy, I actually think they're not too bad, and he may wear them. Um, you know, out or something. <laughs> Um, not just for fun last year's I think they said like Papa Elf or something and I don't know I think he wore them a couple times um, but it's just kind of fun so I got those and then let me show you all start so I got a few like snacky things um, first I got this pure gum this is the gum that we really like and I either get it on Amazon Thrive Market or Marshalls or Home Goods because sometimes they have those too. So I got this one from Marshalls and it was $3.99. But um, we like that it's aspartame free and it has xylitol and stuff like that in it. It's just a good option. So if you like gum and you want more of a pure option, I definitely recommend this kind. I feel like the flavor lasts really good too. I've tried other brands and they're just kind of bland. And he really likes gum, so I thought that would be perfect. I wanted to get him some kind of chocolate, and this is the Hue brand. This is a really good, clean brand if you're looking for some good chocolate. And I thought this would be fun because it's crunchy mint, and he does like mint-flavored things, so I got this. And I'm not sure, I think this was actually on sale at a grocery store that was local, and I do not remember how much it was. And then I got him some of these pistachios. I thought they were the perfect size to fit in the stocking. I got these from Aldi. Uh, he does like pistachios, of pistachios, so I thought it would be perfect. And I have no idea how much they were. I couldn't find the price, but I thought they wouldn't be too bad. And then I got him some Dr. Squatch products and he really loves their deodorant and bar soap and they are highly scented um, kind of so they're kind of like really good if you don't have a good cologne or something like that but um, so he used these before we found a good clean cologne option and these are scented with essential oils and they're really good if you are looking for something that's clean so um, I got him, this is his favorite deodorant, and it is the Dr. Squatch Wood Barrel Bourbon. This one smells the best, um, or it's the one we think smells the best out of their deodorants. And then I got him this Birchwood Breeze Bar Soap. They smell so good. These smell so good. Like, 
if I put these in his stocking right now, he would probably know what he got because he would probably smell it when he walks by. That's how strong they are, but it's really nice because um, it's not full of artificial scents or anything like that. So I really, I'm really liking these. And I got them from Walmart. I used to have to order them off of the actual website, but um, my Walmart anyway sells them right now. So I thought that was really nice. And they're a decent price too. I think these are maybe like, the soaps are like five something. Maybe the deodorant seven, I don't remember. I am so bad. If you're looking for prices, you've come to the wrong spot because I am so bad at telling people prices. I never remember them and I give lots of generals like around this much. So maybe one day I'll get better at that. Okay, and I got two more things for his stocking. And actually there may be a third one, but that did not come yet and I'm still trying to decide if I'm gonna give it to him or if we're just gonna kind of keep it and not use it as a present. So I found this at Walmart. Now this was seven something. Um, it is a party cane. I love these. I would love, I always love giving my kids the um, Reese's peanut butter cup ones in their stocking. I did get them and I'm still trying to decide if I want to give it to them yet, just because I forgot to include that in my, what I got my kids stocking stuffer video. Um, but I'm not sure if I want to give them that just because I've been seeing lately how bad they are for you so I'm trying to think if it's okay once in a while so I thought this was so cool when I saw this at Walmart um, it is like a summer sausage and then cheese in the candy cane which I think is so fun I love to give these candy canes out um, I hope one day they will sell kind of healthy chocolates in them and stuff like that but they are just so fun and festive I've been getting these types of candy canes for years um so they're really fun and then the last thing that i got for my husband is this travel coffee mug and i really like the ones with handles i think they're so nice they're kind of easier to drink when you're driving or just in general or i don't know i just really like it and he is pretty hard on his travel coffee mugs so i mean i bought us travel coffee mugs years ago i still have mine and he's been through maybe like two or three since then um just because with his job um sometimes the cups will just maybe like fall and crack and stuff like that and for me i really just kind of use it in my car or you know it doesn't i don't use it enough for it to not last that long but I really liked this one. I thought it was a nice size and I love that it will fit in the cup holder. That is also really important. I always make sure if I'm buying a travel mug or cup or tumbler that it is going to fit in the cup holders because honestly there's nothing worse than getting one and then it not fitting and you're like now where do I put it. So this is really nice. I got it in black because it's neutral and he likes black. Um, so that's nice. But I really liked this one. I got it from Walmart and it's slow medium and fast there's this little i don't know you can move this up and down and it'll help how it comes out i guess yeah you can speed it up or slow it down apparently which is interesting i've never heard of it but that is everything that i got for his stocking stuffers i think it's good i don't think everything will fit in it just like i had that problem i actually wrapped all my kids stocking stuffers yesterday put them in and one of the things doesn't fit so when we go to give it to them i'll just stick it on <laughs> top or whatever and then the last thing that may be a stocking stuffer or it might just be an actual christmas present or not at all is it's the i have it on my phone so i can remember <laughs> what it is it is the fabric a fabric shaver and the reason i was thinking of getting it for him is because he had a few clothes lately that um just needed to have a fabric shaver and it was like really bothering me. he's like oh this is so annoying so i was like oh that would be a really nice gift but i have been wanting one for like a year or two and i just have not gotten around to getting one and so if it is a present for him 
just know I will be using it a lot too. So he obviously would not care if I use it. I just didn't know if I want to give it as a gift or just make it everybody. So we'll see. Um, but now I'm going to move on to all of his regular Christmas presents. Okay, so I don't know if your husband is anything like mine. Probably some will be and some won't be. But he loves fashion. So he loves every, anything and everything to do with clothes and shoes, watches, accessories, all that kind of stuff. So that is basically the majority of what I got for him. So the first thing, let me just say that um, I got him another pair of socks. They did not come yet. They um, should be here in a couple days. And I did not want to wait until those were going to come either. So. I'll put a picture on the screen and I got them just I actually got them for his stocking forgetting that I already got him some <laughs> um but I just thought it would be kind of fun um they are chess pieces on his sock and he loves chess so much um so I thought it would be fun to just kind of get him socks that have chess pieces on them I guess it'd be like a little fun thing um I didn't think they looked too bad so they are coming and then I will show you some things there's actually one more present that did not come yet um, so I got him some shoes and I got these on Black Friday and this was not a planned buy um, we were at the mall and JC Penny had some amazing sales <laughs> black friday um and i've never been that big into black friday until this year when i saved so much money on just a few things that i got that i was like okay i'm hooked i'm going every year um so i got him these shoes i believe they are chukkas they look like a chukka shoe if you know what that is um they were originally i see on the price i could not remember how much they were originally he really likes chukka shoes and when I saw these I could not pass it up at all. They are originally $85 and I got these for $30. It was like a price that I was just like I would be so dumb if I did not get these. So I got them. I think they're really nice. They're a neutral color. Um, yeah, really nice. I think he's really going to like these. So they're probably really, they seem like they're really nice quality too. So that's always a plus. And since we're on the shoes, I got him these also a Black Friday deal. I ordered these off of Amazon. Um, and we really like Hey Dudes. They are so comfy. I got him some for either our anniversary or his birthday. And I don't remember which ones. Maybe both. No, it wasn't both. I got them one pair. Um, so when I saw these, they were such a good deal. I had to get them. They're the Wally Funk Carbon Blue Hey Dudes. And if you've never, if you don't have any Hey Dudes, go get your, yourself some because they are so comfortable. So this is the kind that I got him. I think they're really nice so he already he has a white pair and then a gray pair like a light gray and then these dark ones I think are really nice and the two-toned is also really nice too um, but we like them so much that um, I want to get our kids some too they are so nice you just slip them on and go and you can wash them I have washed mine a couple times go figure um, the only time I feel like my kids step on my feet is when I wear, wear those and they got stains on them super fast so still trying to get those out but anyway I think he's really gonna like these these are really good for like the spring and summer months um don't think they would be too good in the winter another item that I got him that did not come yet is I'm just looking to see what it's called um, it's just a pullover sweatshirt it says I'm gonna put the picture on the screen for you to see but this was on his on his wish list and I wanted to make sure I at least got one or two things off of the actual wish list I think I only got one 
Um, and a few things he did say he wanted, like I'm going to be showing you in a minute, but I got him this. Um, I thought it was really nice and what I really liked about this one actually is our son, he has a very similar styled one too and it looks so nice and I, I saw this I was like, oh that's so nice, I'm going to get it. Um, so I got him that, that's also coming in a couple of days. And then I'm saving my most favorite one for last just because it was like an amazing deal. I got lots of things on sale this year, I'm really happy. Um, but I got him this. This is a 14 in one, oh I didn't even know it was that many, um, tool and hatchet. So this was $12.99, the right price because it's on the back. I got it at Marshalls and I love Marshalls. It's like, I think it's one of my very favorite stores if you're in along the lines of TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods. Marshalls is my favorite. Um, just because I feel like they have a little bit of everything better than TJ Maxx. And I love home goods so much, but you know, if I'm wanting to check out some like a little bit of everything, Marshalls is my go-to. Um, but home goods and Marshalls is like right next to each other of mine. Um so everything you need for indoor and outdoor projects, it says. Now this my husband was with, um, and he said this would be really handy for work. Um, cause what he does, he could use some of these things. So I thought that would be really cool. And I can just show you kind of everything that it does. Hopefully you could see it, but it's just, there's wire cutters, hatchet, pliers, flat pliers, hammer. That's a pretty handy tool. Last year I actually got him something along the lines of this it's not the same at all um it was just like a tool that had a lot of things in it i got it from walmart it was a stocking stuffer it was smaller than this but it had like something that you could break the windshield with if you were stuck in the car and that type of thing so these things are really handy and um it's probably small and compact so that's really nice he did want that and then i got him two more things so this he did specifically want to it wasn't on his wish list or anything but he did say that he wanted this and I thought it was perfect <laughs> honestly I was actually going to be getting him one of these things anyway I probably should have gotten two uh but well see he loves watches this was $19.99 also from Marshall's and it was it's really nice they had a couple different ones there was one I think that was square um but this one I thought looked a little bit nicer. They were both leather, but this leather looked nicer. So you can see it fits six watches. And in our new house, which should be done in about three months. I'm so excited. Um, I have not been able to give you guys a tour of it yet. Um, just because it didn't work out and it's been really cold. And I'm like, uh, but I do want to give you guys a tour soon. Um, but back to the gift, this will be really nice for him to store his watches in our uh, new closet. Um, I cannot wait to show you guys how the house is laid out so you can kind of get the idea. But like I said, so nice and we love organization and everything. And right now his watches are just in a drawer. So this is going to be really nice, especially because I said he loves watches. Um, and then last but not least... I, so for a while, I wanted to get him, not the specific one, so it's at Costco. Um, let me show you. It's a, an electric, is it an electric one? Or battery powdered, or it's a, it's a razor. So I saw one at Costco, so <laughs> there's a glare, um, months ago, and it was a hundred dollars and um when i saw it the first time it was on sale i was like oh that's cool and my husband he says that he gets like really raw shaving his neck and like sometimes it really hurts and i said well maybe you need like an electric type of razor or something he's like yeah maybe so i saw that one at costco and i was like "Ooh, i've been waiting and waiting for it to go on sale so the one day i went to costco and i was looking all over and i 
found it and it was on sale and I was like yes but before I found the one I actually was looking for first I found this one and this one was on sale for $150 the other one was on sale for like 50 or 60 so this was basically a hundred dollars more sorry about the glare it's like really bad but after seeing this one um, and I had this one in my cart because I didn't know if they would have the other one so I got this for $150 it was originally like 200 so it was a good deal. I just couldn't get the other one after seeing this one and seeing how nice this was. I just couldn't put it back. Um, so it does so many different things. You can take this in the shower, which is super handy. Um, so it's 100% waterproof. And it has a four-in-one pro head, specialized long hair trimmers. I really don't know everything it can do. It has a side out precision trimmer, which is really nice. And 60 minutes of shaving and five minutes quick charge. So it's just so nice that, and it looks really nice. It has like a little stand and everything. And I thought this would be perfect. Also in our new house, because we're going to have our own separate vanities in our master bathroom. And I thought this would be perfect. You can just keep it on his sink. Especially the precision trimmer is really nice too because he has his own hair. And sometimes he just, before he even needs a haircut, he just needs to trim like along his ears and stuff like that. And so that would be maybe nice to just use this for that. I'm not really sure. I thought this was awesome. Like it's just so nice until I'm so excited about that one just because it is so nice and I feel like it does a lot of different things so that was everything that I got for him for his Christmas presents and for his stocking and after seeing how long this video is I probably could have just made it into two videos but why not this is everything in one so um, I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and maybe I will be able to do this every year because I think it was really good. I think that these types of videos are so helpful because sometimes I'm like at a loss at what I should get people. Um, and sometimes watching videos can be like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. I could get a version of that or something. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you have not already, I would love if you could subscribe. That really helps me out. I will try to get what I got my kids for Christmas video out as soon as I can because that's always a good one. I love to give people ideas. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.